Hey YouTube, uh, today we're going to be recovering a Western Digital um, 160 gig drive. Yeah, it's, a, it's an old one, but we received it. It's clicking. We can initialize uh, the drive through either one of the two heads that are in there. Uh, that uh, gives me enough uh, information about the condition of those heads. So we're going to have to pull them out today before we can move for, for, further with the recovery process. Um, we were able to get a, uh, find a donor from our inventory. As you can see, this drive has already has a sealed label on it. So we actually worked uh, on that drive in the past. So maybe uh, a head swap uh, was done on that already. But I tested the drive out and the drive is reading pretty good. Uh, so we're going to use parts out of that. Um, I'll remind you again that uh, this kind of stuff uh, needs to be uh, done only in case if you have access to uh, proper imaging equipment because after the head swap is done, uh, not necessarily that our drive is going to perform at its best and um, most of the time if you do not have control over how you read the drive and which heads are active and which are not, uh, you may just kill it. Uh, not to mention that the um, clean room environment is completely necessary to perform any kind of internal work on this unit. So, as always, Western Digital on their laptop drives, they would have two small screws hidden underneath the label, so just going to cut through it to get access to that. And use a T6 by 60 screwdriver to uh, dismount all the bolts that are securing the upper lid on it. It's Friday and I don't see a better way to <laughs> finish a week other than shooting another video for YouTube. So this is it. This is our drive. This is the donor. So we're just going to set the donor aside for now. Um, going to get the cover opened up. Okay, heads actually look like they're missing. I just found one of them. In the seal. Usually they normally all get stuck to the seal. With the heads already been ripped off from the headset, you can't really do anything about these heads that are in there, so they can just be taken out. And recycled. This is, by the way, Western Digital Drive and the serial number. I'll uh, try to actually uh, put in on that. Ending with 7294. Alright, so now that our um, patient's drive is all taken apart. Just gonna close it off for now. And start with the donor disassembly. These drives are actually uh, very good for recoverability. As long as there's no extensive platter damage, uh, the data is recoverable in most cases.
our donor headset. So now we got to make sure we get we find the remaining two heads because looking at the uh, original headset, they are not present. So they got to be somewhere in this drive. Alright, so this is it. Now we're gonna try and initialize this drive. And um, if it gives us ID and if it has access to all four of these heads and can read with them, we'll start the imaging process and uh, retrieve data for this customer. So our contact information is on the screen, so if you guys uh, need to get in touch with us, uh, and if you have any questions regarding the procedure itself, if you need assistance with a clicking hard drive out of the laptop or a desktop or a portable drive, what have you, uh, feel free to uh, contact us. Our phone number is 1-855-366-4232. Call anytime. Alright, so we got uh, two drives connected here as you can see uh, on your screen and uh, we're just going to power up um, the channel number three, that, that's the laptop drive that we got connected. Uh, our target destination drive where we're going to be imaging the data onto is connected to channel one and it's already powered on. So I'm just going to power it up. Uh, these two registry lights should come green. As soon as they do, that means the drive is uh, ready to be worked with. Okay, so now they come up. Um, gonna auto detect the utility. This is the primarily the information that we're looking for. Uh, that means the drive gave us a full ID. As you can see, the same serial number ending with 7294 is what we were working on. That's the drive that we needed to recover. It initializes fairly well. We can go as far as uh, testing individual heads out, but at this point it's not really um, necessary. Uh, one thing I would want to check is whether or not this drive has access to the user data and uh, for that we are just gonna look at the very first sector uh, that's the data there and uh, go to sector number 63 yep so it's reading the drive can um, can begin the imaging process so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new task for it Mm. 
I'm going to build a head map really quick for it so that we know uh, which heads are active during the imaging process because um, they will be switching constantly. That will help us to uh, spot any um, issues that may be head related if we see the pattern of uh, delays and errors coming up on the exact same head, head over and over and over again usually that would mean that uh, maybe that head is a problematic one Alright, this is done. So, this is the speed that our drive is reading with. I can see that head number one is not reading so good. Um, just gonna pause this for now and I gotta tweak some of the reading algorithms. That black sector there, right? it's showing that it's having issues in that spot. So it looks like head one is uh, struggling, struggling a little bit. So um, for not to overrun it and kill it very fast, we're just gonna disable it for now. Head number two looks good. Head number three looks good head number zero also looks good so i'm pretty sure we should be able to get the information out um pretty efficiently as the drive is running now and uh if you guys have uh, any questions post in the comments if uh, you like this video hit like subscribe to our channel uh, give us a call 1-855-366-4232 visit us on facebook and uh our website Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week.